Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today we're doing a good old fashioned favorites video. I absolutely love videos like these because I get to share with you products that I reach for all the time and things that in my daily life I'm using and loving every day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy favorites videos. I know to keep making them, but basically I literally open my everyday makeup drawer over here and my everyday skincare and I just pick out things that I reach for all the time. Time, and I just can't wait to share them with you. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's start with skincare because I have only two products here. First is one I mentioned in my Honest Beauty review video. This is their new Calm and Go Face Mist, which comes in a really beautiful spray bottle. The mister on this is great. It's like a continuous mist super fine i've actually been loving this as a setting mist it's also beautiful as a skincare mist kind of what it's made for really milky and calming and hydrating not irritating does not have a strong scent to it i believe it's fragrance free because it's the sensitive skin line i've just been reaching for this a ton i kind of think it's replaced my josh rosebrook hydrating accelerator which i had recently repurchased but honestly comparing those two like i'm kind of liking this one a little bit better so this i've been keeping by my makeup vanity just to set my makeup with if I'm wearing a matte foundation. One I'm actually going to be talking about, I'll apply that and it just makes my skin feel really hydrated without being oily or any of that stuff. There is a fruit fly on my light. What you doing? I don't got any fruit up here. All right, second product is another Honest Beauty product. This one is new to me. I just purchased this. I saw it on Amazon. It's their new Honestly Bright Eyes Tinted Eye Cream. Now, the reason I wanted this is because I do have, I don't really feel like I have super dark circles, but I am very fair. So any coloration in my skin really pops. So I wanted something that I could wear when I'm doing like a no makeup look, basically just wearing a tinted sunscreen. But I wanted something to cover my under eyes without having to put concealer on so this seemed like the perfect solution and it really was they have two shades this is the lighter one sandstone so essentially what this is is a tinted eye cream the tint of it is very light it just has a plastic tip applicator very sheer as i mentioned it blends out evenly into the skin and doesn't have such a strong color to it that you really notice it it just helps to cancel out the darkness a little bit and it doesn't crease like a concealer would i've tried even using light coverage concealers and I don't know it just doesn't seem to work when I'm not wearing a foundation so this has just been a perfect solution I think it's a really unique eye product and I just really recommend it if you have dark circles and you don't necessarily want to put on a concealer you just want to look a little bit more awake totally check this one out now getting into my favorite beauty products of November this is a foundation I have mentioned before but I want to mention again just because I just emptied this and I feel like that's pretty rare for me to empty a foundation so it's just my go-to this is the NYX can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation this is a vegan and cruelty free foundation personally i'm good with the ingredients does not irritate my skin my skin is pretty sensitive it does super well so this is full coverage which i love because i do love a lot of coverage but it is the thinnest most lightweight most long wearing budge proof foundation i've ever tried i did not pick this up expecting to even like it it was kind of just like that sounds good i like full coverage but it ended up being my favorite foundation now if you have drier skin dry patches i don't think i would really recommend it because the finish is matte but if you're similar to my skin where you're normal to combo i think you would love this it does wonderful over my texture like it is the least texture enhancing foundation i feel like it's also attributed to the finish of it since the finish is matte but it's not super flat or drying it just looks so skin like while providing a long wear performance this truly is like a budge proof mask proof foundation i wore it all day today and i was wearing a mask earlier it does wear off like a tiny bit on my chin when i'm wearing a mask but like none on my nose it has like pretty minimal transfer it's just really impressive this is the shade nude that i use i also love the shade it's a glass bottle it has a pump it's pretty affordable it just checks all my botch botches what is that it just checks all of my boxes and i do already have a backup right here because i knew i could not live without it so a plus in my book I would love to find an even cleaner foundation that has a similar like finish and wear to this. If you guys have a favorite, definitely let me know. Most of my favorite clean foundations are more of that dewy natural skin finish. So still waiting on one of those clean beauty. Moving along to my 
my next favorite, which is from Haley's Beauty. This is called the Retouch Perfecting Powder, Loose Setting Powder. It comes in a plastic jar. And this is a really nice, just simple, effective powder. I don't really have anything like exuberant to say about it other than it works and keeps me mattified and doesn't look cakey. My only con with this is I find it has like a very slight yellow undertone. So when I put it under my eyes, it does seem to darken my concealer a tad, but I do like it all over my face. Other than that, it's something that I've just been reaching for because it worked. Now for cheek products, I actually have two cream products to mention. Surprisingly, you guys know I'm not a huge, huge cream product person. But these two I recently tried and just really enjoyed. First is from Ritual Defi. This is the Color Nectar Pigment Balm. This is the shade Bee Sting, which is a pretty classic, just rosy pink. It's on the sheer side, but can definitely be built up. A little finger swatch there, it's kind of weird, but it's actually pretty pigmented but it shares out nicely is kind of what I meant to say. So this I love because it offers a really like fresh look to the skin without being oily or too dewy. I feel like I say this about all my favorite cream products, but the reason that I love them is because they're not so emollient that they slide off the face or transfer or make me look oily. So this I've really been enjoying. They have a ton of like unique shades as well. And I've been reaching for that for a nice little winter glow. And then to go along with that, this is the Kier Weiss highlight. I believe this is the shade Ravishing. I will link it below though. So you can purchase this highlight separately and not get the packaging and it ends up being a lot cheaper but I already had this on hand so I just popped this in. This shade is very, very pretty. I find it a little bit difficult to find a light gold when I'm fair that's not too deep and doesn't cast on my skin and I don't find that this one does at all and because of that it's one of the only highlights that's a light gold in my collection that I find very wearable. Super pretty and creamy. It's more of a dry finish and the pearl is super fine and thoroughly mixed throughout. It's not very chunky or glittery so it gives you a really natural look and if you do get the packaging along with it, it feels just super luxurious and is sustainable because you can just pop those out and replace it if you run out and need a new one. Next is a powder highlight that I've been using every single time I do my makeup since I got it, which I believe is in the summer, maybe even earlier than that. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. I don't remember if I have mentioned this before. I'm sure I have at some point. This is just called their highlighter in Beverly Hills, which again is one of those products that I didn't know I was going to be using frequently. It just didn't seem like something I was going to fall in love with. This is just so stunning. So it has a sort of wheel of different highlight colors. You can see I'm like really denting into the light white shade in this light champagne. I do enjoy this on my face although that's not primarily how I use it. Since they are very metallic and just blingy finishes, I actually love these as eyeshadows. I have both shades sort of it mixed together on my inner corner. That's sort of how I do an everyday look is I just will mix these two or use one of the other and put it on my lid on and my inner corner. And something about these just makes them such beautiful eyeshadows. I think because the metallic pigment is so evenly spread out. It just looks beautiful and really light catching without being glittery or sort of skippy in the glitter if that makes sense. Not that it's glittery. It's just really smooth and makes your eyelids pop. So that's why I love this. I use the other shades as well, but yeah, really beautiful. Every time I try to use a different shade for my lid, I'm always like, I just wish I used that. It looks so much better. I don't know what kind of magic that little formula is, but they're very creamy and smooth and just... Perfect. Moving along, I have two more eyeshadow products to share. First is from Kaja. This is a little eyeshadow stack, which is fun. These are called their Beauty Bentos, and this one's the shade 08 Chocolate Dahlia. So you pop it open, and the first shade here is like this metallic champagne. The middle is a medium, pretty neutral warm brown. And then the very bottom is just a deep matte brown. So this one has two mattes and a shimmer. Not all of these have masks in them. Some of them are all shimmers, but this is just so perfect for an everyday look. Literally perfect for travel. Not that I'm traveling anytime soon, but I imagine it would be because it's so compact. You could just bring this as your eyeshadow because to me, this is really all I need to do a look. It has a shimmer. It has like a transition shade and then the deep brown, which you can use in your crease or as a shadow liner. So the formulas of these are really beautiful and I just love the convenience and little compact of it all. Next, we have a new 
launch from Bodyography. This is their, I don't know what collection this is called, but it's a offspring of their glitter pigment. It is a glitter pigment, but I think these are designed to be a little bit more sheer and reflective and sort of like transforming colors. This one is the shade Spirit Quartz. It has a white base that has a gold pink shift to it really unique and pretty and great as an eyeshadow topper these are not the same as the traditional glitter pigment in terms of the base color being pigmented it's sort of just like the micro glitter through it that has the color to it and the base of it seems to be pretty sure they do have some other shades which lend more pigment to them so if you pick these up don't kind of expect them to be as like full-on pigment as the original ones which i love as well but these are sort of just like a topper a transformer they're just as beautiful and i really enjoy the shift of this because it's really unique i don't have a ton of products like it it just has like this pink glow that i think is so pretty for winter so this i've been reaching for a lot and my last eye favorite is an eyeliner this is another product from nyx their epic wear liner stick i picked this up on a whim and i love it so i don't like wearing liners on my waterline this is the shade gold plated by the way which is the perfect gold it's more on the yellow side but still really muted it's like a mustard gold almost so as i was saying i don't love wearing liners on my my waterline specifically darker ones I feel like with my eye shape because my eyes are very round i have more deep set eyes that when i do that it just like i don't think it's flattering on me personally I'm not saying if you have round eyes you like shouldn't wear eyeliner like it really depends on every person and what you like makeup has no rules so who cares that's just what i prefer but i want to pick this up and just see how it wears on the waterline this is so pretty i have it on my waterline now first off the wear of this is like the best liner i've tried on my waterline i've tried a ton that just like wear right off i have pretty watery eyes and this really does stay put without irritating my eyes the color is pretty and i just love the touch of gold in the waterline it adds this like just interest to my everyday look and i think with the blue in my eyes it's very complimentary and i've just been loving this it's just like taking my everyday makeup and boosted it a little bit they also have tons of other shades of this if you want to get a shade you complement your eye color or just a simple black or brown, definitely check this out from NYX. So impressed. NYX is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. They just have such great high performing products. Before we move on to lips, I want to mention a beauty tool. It's already very dirty, but this is the Haley's Beauty Sponge. You guys know I like ranted about the new, the new Real Technique sponges, how they change them. They're not nearly as good. So I went on the hunt for a new sponge. Someone had recommended this one and then Haley's actually reached out to me and sent me one so I was able to try it but I will totally repurchase this because it's the best sponge I've ever tried. I honestly like the shape better than the Real Techniques one. It's super soft, high quality, just everything I want in a sponge so definitely check them out if you need a new sponge and maybe you used to like the Real Techniques ones and you're like me and you don't like them anymore, better option right there. All right, actually I totally skipped over this, but this is my last eye favorite. Brand new palette from Kat Von D. It's their Edge of Reality. It's not Kat Von D anymore, it's KVD Beauty. The owner has changed, the brand has changed. I know that's confusing, but Edge of Reality eyeshadow palette is what this is called. This is a recyclable eyeshadow palette. So you can pop this whole tray out and recycle the whole thing it has no metal pans on it which is really interesting it has some really gorgeous jewel tones but also great neutrals and it also has a lot of matte shades which i love in a palette you guys know i've been reaching for this for like some everyday things but also these metallics are super pretty and i just find this palette inspiring because it has a little bit of everything you get some pink some purple some green some blue some neutrals it's just a ton of good stuff to play around with and i think the packaging it just looks so cute and it's still recyclable so awesome new release from them i'm definitely interested in trying more from that brand if you guys want me to try more definitely let me know but i'm impressed with the eyeshadows moving on let's quickly go over some lip favorites og hydroganic sculpted lip oils i love these every time winter rolls around i just become like re-obsessed with these they're a sheer lip crayon that just apply beautifully and smoothly i'll do a little swatch for you guys they have the perfect amount of pigment where they apply 
really smoothly and nicely without getting patchy and they're not too oily i find if i have a lip tint that's too oily it just like is patchy and will like gather towards my lip line these don't do that and they're also perfect for on the go i like how they're a crayon shape it's just a little bit easier to be precise with them those two shades are rosalia and camellia by the way very pretty and the packaging's cute as well next i wanted to mention my favorite lip liner I actually got this product idea from Alexandra, I forget her last name. I always forget YouTubers names when I go to make my own YouTube video. You guys probably know who she is. Comment below her last name if you know it. She has a great channel, super informative videos. So I've been kind of on the hunt for a good everyday nude lip liner for the longest time, but I've tried a bunch of people's recommendations and they're always usually just too warm or too peachy or just too dark for my lips. But when I saw that she recommended this, I decided to pick it up. It's the Lime Crime. It's just called their lip liner. This is the shade Topist. I have this on my lips right now. It looks a little bit dark on my skin, but this is the only lip liner I found that's similar to the tone of my lips. I think it's because we both have a similar fair skin tone that her recommendation really worked for me. So if you have a similar skin tone to mine, you're on the lighter side. Can't really seem to find a lip liner that works with your tone. Definitely try this out because I think it's unique. It's pretty hard to find a cool enough or taupey enough lip liner at the drugstore store or even high end so this is great i gone through a lot of it already it's creamy it works well it's a great lip liner as well not just the shade the formula is nice and i've been wearing that like when i do full lipstick like this or a light makeup look i'll just do that with some gloss and it looks really natural my last lip favorite is a new product from shanta kai this is called their lip crystal in the shade rose quartz i think i showed this in my holiday video like it looks very intimidating and glittery, but it's like a tinted lip balm, more pigment than that I would say, but it has that same consistency where you can wear it very sheer or you can build it up. Like it looks very intimidating and glittery, but it's not gritty at all. It's super smooth. So I have that as a lip topper today and I just have it in the center of my lip. And I find that it's such a unique product because it gives you such a dimension to your lips without having to wear gloss. So if you don't like the feel of a gloss, this would be the perfect substitution for that and I think it's just such a fun holiday product. They're more luxury, but I think it's worth it because I really do not have anything like this and I can't even think of anything that's similar to this. So really unique and fun from Shantakai. So that's all for my beauty and skincare. Now just a couple more odds and ends I really wanna share. First, I guess it's sort of in the skincare category. This is a skincare tool from Dermaflash. I'm just blanking on the name of this, but it's a pore extractor slash serum infuser. This is their holiday edition so it's a really pretty silver packaging it's a rechargeable device so what this bad boy does is i was a little intimidated by this at first but this side is an extractor for your pores gets the gunk out and then you can use the other side to infuse your serum personally i don't like it as a serum infuser i don't know i don't feel like it really does much i don't love the feeling of it on my face but as an extractor i found it very effective to use the extractor you have to get your face damp and then clicking it on once gives you the extraction mode and then twice as the serum infuse. I really only use it as the pore extractor. And then you glide it over your skin. You have to make sure your face is really wet or else it can feel like a little bit zappy, but it just really does a great job at getting the stuff out of your pores. I have sensitive skin and as long as I don't like put it on my lower cheeks over here, which I don't know if I have rosacea or something, but any sort of like physical exfoliation makes my like, there's just like big red patches after I do that. No idea about that, but I'm just more gentle with that area if i keep this in the center of my face it's really great and doesn't irritate my skin and it's effective i'm really hard to please with skincare tools because i'm frankly very lazy at night like with adding a bunch of tools or devices to my routine but this is one that i actually look forward to using when i need it it's not something i do every day but occasionally if i feel like i need to clean out whip this bad boy out and i think it's like just so fun. One perfume I want to mention, I got this during the Credo sale from Dead Cool. This is called their fragrance number three. Very uh, creative name. But anyway, the notes of this, I believe are like violet and saffron maybe. I don't usually like florals. I like very musky woodsy scents, which is why I want to pick this up because I have so many scents similar
similar to that. I wanted something a little bit different and I don't know why I even got this. Like I just saw it and I was like, okay, I'll try it. It's pretty expensive. I ended up loving the scent of it. If you don't like florals, I feel like this is like a floral for people who don't love florals if that makes sense. It's pretty sweet and feminine and light, but it has this undertone of just like a complexity and it's, I don't know, it just like makes it a little bit more edgy and less grandma-y smelling. It doesn't smell like old school at all. It's just such a beautifully crafted fragrance. I will link it below if you want to read the actual notes in case my interesting description of it didn't uh, sell you on it, but I love this and I want to try more from the brand for sure. It's also the longest lasting clean perfume that I've personally tried it stays on like nothing like on your clothes on your hair super potent but hmm, so good and lastly kind of random but two pairs of glasses first are blue light glasses these one are from way so i've actually never tried way's sunglasses but i wanted to try their blue light glasses because they're having a sale and they just had cute frames this is the ceo style i think or that's just what it says on there you can see my lights <laughs> All right, they look kind of crazy right now. Anyway, I think they're pretty cute. I like to wear them because I frequently get like light induced migraines sometimes if I'm looking at my computer for too long. So these really do help with that and they're good to wear at night if you're working at night to help your little sleep schedule. And the other ones are from this brand Italic. This case is so nice. So Italic is, they sell products from the same manufacturers as higher end luxury brands, but they just sell them at a lower price, which is a really Really cool concept and I had these sunglasses from them. I don't know what style they are but they're like this slimmer cat eye style which I personally love for my face shape. Since I don't have really any angles on my face I like to have angular glasses. That's also why I got this style here and they're definitely something a little bit smaller than I would typically go for. I actually have like a bigger version of these from Amazon, which if I'm like, just really want full face coverage, I'll go with those. But these definitely feel way more higher quality. Like just the hinges of them, they're very nice. So these are my fancy glasses if I wanna be fancy that day. But yeah, I really enjoy them. I think the shape and style is nice. And I feel like sunglasses are one of those things where it's like, is the higher price actually worth it? These do feel nicer than my Amazon ones, but it's not like I'm buying Prada glasses or anything so really nice. All right, so that was all for my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know in the comments below one thing you've been loving. Feel free to share more as well, but I just love to hear what you guys are loving. It doesn't necessarily have to be beauty related. Anything you're feeling, you got a new pan to cook with, you got a new drink that's good, you tried a new sheet set. That's kind of weird. I don't know, anything you guys want, definitely let me know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it at any point. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.